Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to evaluate the probability mass function of a function of two random variables. So, given the following joint PMF, that is joint probability mass function, Px of x comma y, Px comma y is equal to c times x into y, for x equal to 1, 2, 4, and y equal to 1 comma 3, and 0 elsewhere. So, given this joint mass function, our goal is to find the probability mass function or marginal probability mass function of a random variable w given that w is equal to x minus y. So, this is the function. Uh, so, this new random variable is a function of these two random variables. That is, w is equal to g of x comma y, which is equal to x minus y. So, this new random variable, which is a function of these two random variables, will have a new probability mass function. Our, now, our goal is to find this new PMF. So, before we find the probability mass function, first we have to know what is the range of these values of W. We know that the range of x and y are 1, 2, 1, 2 and 4 and y equal to 1 comma 3. So, SW should be equal to, I mean, we can easily calculate the values of this set or the range from this function, that is W equal to x minus y. So, for so, for the first combination 1 comma 1, we have w is equal to 0. For 1 comma 3, it should be equal to 1 minus 3, that is minus 2. The next 2 comma 1 is 1. And the next one is 2 comma 3, which is again 2 minus 3, that is minus 1. And the next one is 4 comma 1, that is 3. And 4 minus 3, 1. So, 1 is already here. So, hence this is the range of the values of the w. Now, our goal is to find the probability mass function at each of these values in the range. So, once we have this range, now we can find the probability mass function of w. So, the by definition, the probability mass function of a function of two random variables is given by the following formula. Summation over all values of x comma y that map to the new random variable w from the original joint mass function. That is, we want to add up all the, for a given value of w, we want to add the all, all the values in the probability joint mass function for which this x comma y value map to this, the given w. So, for example, uh, we can find, uh, so uh, to illustrate this, we will find the values of this joint mass function at each of these values of w. That is, for example, for first one, w is equal to 0 it should be equal to the probability mass function, the joint mass function for x equal to 1 and y equal to 1, because this is the only combination that leads to w equal to 0. So, we have probability of x equal to 1 comma y equal to 1, which is equal to c. And for w is equal to minus 2, we have x equal to 1 and y equal to 3. So, this is the only combination that leads to w equal to minus 2. So, we have c into 3, that is 3c. And the next one is probability of w is equal to minus 1. So, this should be equal to x equal to 2, y equal to 3. Probability of x equal to 2, comma y equal to 3, which is 6c. And the next one is w equal to 1. So, for w equal to 1, we see that there are two combinations that map to w equal to 1 that is uh, 2 comma 1 and 4 comma 3 so it should so the probability of w equal to 1 should be equal to x equal to 2 y probability of x equal to 2 y comma y equal to 1 plus probability of x equal to 4 y equal to 3 so since these two combinations basically lead to w equal to 1 we have probability of w equal to 1 is equal to summation of these two probabilities which is equal to 2 plus 12 times c, that is 14c. And finally, for w equal to 3, we have only one combination, that is for x equal to 4 and y equal to 1, which is probability of x equal to 4 comma y equal to 1, which is 4 times 1 into c, that is 4c. Now that we have the probability mass function of w, that is for w, the probability mass function of w, for w equal to 0, we have c. For w equal to minus 2, we have 3c. For w equal to minus 1, we have 
6c for w equal to 1 we have 14c and finally for w equal to 3 we have 4c so we have the probability mass function of w now we can from this definition we can actually calculate the expectation expected value of w that is expectation of w which is equal to summation of all values of w or all values of w of w times probability mass function of w which is equal to 0 into c plus minus 2 into 3c plus minus 1 into 6c plus 1 into 14c plus 3 into 4c which is equal to 14c and we can also calculate a probability of an interval that is probability of w greater than 0 and should this and this should be equal to the probability of w equal to 1 plus probability of w equal to 3 since these are the only two these are the only values that satisfy the condition that w is greater than 0 and we know that for w equal to 1 the probability is 14c and for w equal to 3 it is 4c so the sum is 18c thus given a joint probability mass function hence given a joint probability mass function of two random variables it is possible to calculate the original probability mass function of a new random variable which is a function of the original random variables in this case w equal to x minus y thanks for watching